Hi everyone, welcome to Pretty Pastel Pastries. My name is Giselle. Today I have for you guys a nude colored box. Today we're going to use the colors dark chocolate, white chocolate, and we're gonna actually color a white chocolate in this nude color from the brand Color Mill. It is gonna turn out so awesome, I can't wait to show you guys. Now let's go ahead and hop onto the tools and supplies. Let's first start off with our heart mold. Now this one right here I did purchase off of Amazon. I love the way it works. It is super flexible and it will not give you like any issues or anything like that. If you follow the steps I'm going to give you today. Next up, we're going to use this little like chocolate bar mold. I went ahead and cut this one in half actually. It's just a little bit more easier for me to work with. Next up, this color mold comes in a three part set. So you get the uppercase letters, you get the lowercase, and you also get the numbers, which is super awesome because you can use all of them. And right here, have the uppercase one and the same thing goes it is super easy and flexible now next up we're going to use these oxo cups these are my favorite ones to melt all of my chocolate this one comes in the size medium this one is a one cup now i'll go ahead and show you guys the one i purchased yesterday it just came in the mail so this one here it is also really awesome you get the two cup size so it's a lot more bigger which is actually really perfect for those big orders so this right here is the two cup and it is perfect to dip all of your strawberries inside. You don't have to like, you know, get a bigger cup or anything because sometimes I use some cups and they're like too small and narrow to like put my hand through and it's just not really good. But as you guys can see, you can actually dip a good strawberry in here and get all the way to the bottom. So I highly recommend this set. You also get one of these medium sized ones, which I personally like always use. And I also use this really small one for smaller decoration and just colors you want to color individually. So I highly recommend these guys. I'll leave everything down below for you guys. Now onto our mini cupcake liners. These are from the brand Wilton. These are really great quality and they're like super good. But I highly recommend these for you guys just because these can go with like any theme box you guys want to make. If it's like white or it's purple or it's pink, white does not clash with anything. So I highly recommend you guys invest in these white cups right here. Next up, we're going to use this diamond dust. This one is champagne. It is from the brand The Sugar and they are 100% edible, guys. I highly recommend them and they do not have like any taste or anything. We're going to need a small brush. This heart mold right here is like made out of hard plastic. It's really good. Next up, we have these Wilton white pearls. We're also going to use this product right here. Now I might use today these small little tweezers. These are just going to help us with our letter placement. Um, totally optional. Now onto my favorite piping bags. These ones right here are so awesome. They are like burst proof and you can add as much chocolate or icing or any kind of frosting you guys would like inside. And these will not like burst on you or anything like that. Because I personally have tried different piping bags and those just like burst on me and it's just really irritating because you gotta like re-melt your chocolate and it's just a whole big mess and you don't want to deal with that so i highly recommend those those are from the brand rickle they're super awesome this is a must in your kit now lastly we have this box right over here this is a two compartment box we have our clear top at the bottom and once you open this up, you have like another compartment here at the bottom, which I'll show you guys later throughout the video. I have this wooden mallet. And lastly, this cute little bear right here. So now just a couple more things to go through. I love using this brand Ghirardelli. This one comes in a 30 ounce bag just like this. They only sell this bag at Sam's Club for what I've seen. And they also carry this one in white chocolate as well. We're also going to need some toothpicks your fresh dried strawberries. We're also going to use small spatulas. This one is from the brand Atico. And I also have this silicone mat right here. This one is from the brand Fat Daddios. I purchased this one off of Amazon as well. So we covered everything here in today's video. Now if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notification to notify you when I upload. All right guys, let's hop right into the video. So our first step is to place these individually in our microwave for 30 second intervals. We're going to give this a really good mix after every addition and we're just going to go ahead and melt this completely and we'll be right back. So I went ahead and finished melting my wafers and this is the consistency we're left with. It is super runny and this is exactly what you want. 
If you have yours more thicker than this, it will give you problems when dipping your berries. So I highly recommend, you know, it's nice and smooth just like this. Now I'm going to set our dark chocolate one aside and we're going to work with our white chocolate and we're going to add our color melt and the color nude. We're going to give this a really good mix. And I'm going to start off with adding 10 drops. Now all we're going to do is just go ahead and fill up our breakable heart and we're just going to add in all of our chocolate in there. And from here we're going to pick up the heart and we're going to move it all around the edges. Make sure you get to the top of every edge. Now that we have all of our chocolate around our corners, we're just going to go ahead and place the extra chocolate back into our cup. Now we're just going to place our heart on top of our plate and we're going to place this into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. We're going to wait for this to harden and we're going to go on to step number two. Now our heart is right out of the refrigerator and it is all set. Now we're going to go on to step number two and just make sure chocolate is still the right consistency. We're going to place the chocolate inside and repeat it as step number one. Our chocolate heart is out of the refrigerator it's super easy to unmold we're just gonna go really slow on all the sides and just pull away so now we're just gonna flip it over and we're just gonna pull up from the tail and just try your best to not touch the heart So we're just going to place this into the refrigerator until we're all done with everything so we can start assembling. So we're going to grab our toothpick and a berry. You're going to want to place your toothpick on the left or the right hand side of the little stem in there. Pick up all the leaves. Make sure they are nice and dry. Now from here we're just going to place our berry inside our chocolate and just make sure you go all the way up as high as you would like. And if you have any air bubbles, just feel free to pop those with a little toothpick. That's totally fine. Then I like picking it up and just shaking it off just a little bit. And we should be left with this. So it is super nice and glossy and we don't have like any air bubbles or anything like that. And I'm just going to place this right here on my mat. I'm going to go ahead and do this to the rest of my berries and we'll be right back.
So we're first gonna start off with our dark chocolate. So we're gonna cut a small tip on here. Now we're gonna start off with this bar mold right here and it is super easy. We're just gonna pipe inside. So next up is our letter mold. I'm just gonna spell out, I love you. So let's just go ahead and pipe directly inside. And once that's all nice and piped, we're gonna do the same thing and just tap off the excess. And we're gonna do this to each and every letter. Now lastly, into our heart mold, exactly the same thing. We're just gonna fill it up and just tap off the excess. Now all of these are gonna go into the refrigerator for about five to seven minutes and we'll be right back. And these are super easy to pop out. So for these are here, we're just gonna lay them on here and just press them down just a little bit and you can even also just like hit it once and they're bound to pop out eventually and now these ones are here we're just going to pull away from the sides just be really careful and they're going to pop out just like this And lastly to these letters, we're just going to pull away and they come out super easy. So now onto our breakable heart, you can either use tweezers or you can also just like place them on there with your hands. Um, but let's just go ahead and spell out I love you right on top of the box. So now that we're done with our heart, we're gonna go ahead and place this back into the refrigerator and we're gonna start working on our strawberries. So onto our dark chocolate berries, we're gonna start with a simple drizzle. So let's go ahead and do that. So once we have that nice on there, we're gonna pipe a little amount of chocolate right here in the center and we're gonna add one of these nude hearts. Now to our next berry, we're gonna do another drizzle. Then we're gonna grab these right here and we're gonna place just a little bit all around. So our second berry is gonna look like this. And lastly to this one, I'm gonna add another nude heart.
Now I'm gonna do the same to these two berries right here with this design. Into these last two berries, I'm going to drizzle them in dark chocolate and add some pearls and these little ones right over here. Now lastly, just to finish this off, I'm going to grab our diamond dust and champagne. I'm going to add just a little bit to this. Then I'm just going to grab a small little brush, apply a little bit to the brush, just a little bit, and we're just going to sprinkle some right on top of our berries. So just lightly press that on top. And it's going to leave us with this really beautiful shiny effect. Now that we have everything done, now we're going to hop on to packaging. So right here I have this heart box and this is what the inside looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and fill this up with confetti. So just make sure your confetti is about halfway and we're just going to bring over our heart. Just be careful when you're placing it inside and it should look like this. Now from here we're going to start off at the bottom now. So now that we have our confetti in here, I'm actually going to go ahead and place this one right here. This is totally optional, you do not have to add her in, but I just feel like it just ties everything together with the colors and it matches really pretty. So I'm just going to place that one here and place my strawberries all around. So along with the bear and our seven berries, if I were to take out the bear, you can possibly fit like all 10. Um, let me go ahead and see how that looks. It depends on the size of them because this one's like super huge. Um, but you can add in 
about nine to ten berries in here and that also looks really nice but I love the way the bear looks so I'm gonna have to keep the bear in there for today And I forgot to mention right here, I made these little chocolate bars and you can just place these like all around the box um, just for like demonstration. That will look super cute. I'll just place them all around. Now to this small wooden hammer right here, I would just give this to the person as opposed to putting it on our box because it doesn't fit and it doesn't tie into like the theme or anything right now. And yeah guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that post notification to notify you when I upload. Now today's post notification shout out goes to Don Jackson. Thank you so much for subscribing to Pretty Pastel Pastries and watching my videos here on YouTube. I truly appreciate you. Now if you want to be featured at the end of my next video, all you guys have to comment are white heart emojis down below and I'll be sure to give a lucky subscriber a shout out. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye. Have a lovely day.